this is a, a frozen section of uh, normal pelvis of a young female. And uh, this is the uterus in a urinal section. This is the fundus of the uterus. This is the endometrial canal. And this is the cervix. Now you see the first trick. On this video uh, is for to, in fact, to see the development of the ovarian follicle. At times you are sent a patient to evaluate for polycystic ovaries or uh, to see the dominant follicle uh, is uh, <coughs> of what size is, uh, is, is uh, being ruptured at 14 to 16 days of the menstrual cycle, so on and so forth. So this is basically to uh, evaluate the uh, ovary, the follicles in fact, the developing follicles within the ovary. For that, first requirement is that the urinary bladder should be adequately filled. The definition of the adequately filled urinary bladder for the female pelvic exam is that the urinary bladder in longitudinal section should be at the level of the fundus of the uterus. This is the fundus of the uterus. And here we do see both of them. At times, it's, I mean, if you get up to here, okay, fine, it's ideal, but a little bit if it uh, exceeds uh, the uh, the uh, fundus of the uterus is uh, will serve the purpose. However, it should not be underfilled. When if, if the bladder is only up to this level, you may feel difficulty. However, in 25% of cases or 20% of cases, you can even see the ovaries without uh, with underfilled urinary bladder. Well, we, uh, anyways, the ideal situation is to, uh, th this is, is this one, okay. Now, this is uh, all normal, nothing. Now let's, uh, uh, when you, first of all, see the longitudinal section, and then after seeing the longitudinal section, go to the transfer section, keeping, keeping the view in the center, you will get the transfer section of the uterus. Now this is the transfer section of the uterus. Then give a sweep to the probe to see where do you get the ovary. Move, I am moving the probe bit right. This is the transfer section. First of all, longitudinal section again, transfer section, and now I am moving towards the right and downwards and I get the ovary straight away. And in this ovary, you can see that uh, these are the follicles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven follicles are seen. The largest is measuring uh, 6.5 mm in diameter. So this is the right ovary that we uh, we have seen, and uh, you see. And then bring, try to bring it in the center of the uh, screen and give it a bit sweep to see whether where do you see the follicles. Now in this case, the follicles are seen throughout uh, the ovary. The ovarian stroma <coughs> is seen, and the largest follicle we can follow. Now let's move towards the left side, same procedure, and here you will get the left one. Uh, as I did in the, on the right side, same I have done on the left side. You see, this is the uh, left over this one. And you can see the follicles being, developing follicles within and the largest follicle that can be uh, seen by is this is the ovary and the largest one may is this this is the largest one and it may is 9.4 mm, however, this is the other, another follicle, this is another follicle, this is a small one. 
So different uh, we do see ovary in uh, de development of follicles in different stages of development. Uh, so this is the method of seeing the studying the follicle or the development of the follicles in any given female uh, for infertility purpose or to rule of polycystic ovary. So this is uh, our case of the day. Thank you.